Yes, I made four little games. And those four little games I made with no scripting experience at all. All of those games, they are 2D. And you may ask me like, why Unreal? Why not Unity? Well, first of all, they have like the blueprint system there. Oh yeah, but Unity have like the Bolt system, which is now Unity Visual Scripting System. Blueprints, they are there for, I don't know, 10 years-ish. They both have their own system. There are other things as well, which made me choose Unreal. One of them is because I took this course to help me making those games. It's really straightforward to follow along. This game, that it was the hardest one with like more features on it, which have the AI like enemy system. This one took me like four hours to complete. Um, and the other ones was like faster than that. Of course, making the first one could be a little bit longer because the first time you're using it and following along, but then you get the hang of it. For this course, we also use assets from uh, each.io. With this platform, like a game platform where there's a bunch of assets free and paid assets that you can use for UI uh, animations as well, like 2D characters with animations or, or characters. There are thousands of games there that people release like every day. The Unreal Store, which have like tons of assets, like free assets to use it. Using all of those together, it's a great mix to create your first game. I have those four now. Let's go like in deep in each of them. And this is the, the course. I cannot recommend this more. I'm not paid to market this, but I just wanted to recommend because I did it and I thought it was great. This was designed by Cobra Code. He also have his own Patreon, which I'm part of as well. I reached the community. I asked a question. Uh, he answered pretty quick. And we also have this uh, quick and real introduction. So if you never use Unreal, there's like a crash course there to learn like the basics uh, and to get you going. And all of these, the, all the, the paper two basics, the paper 2D basics, uh, and the projects Quick Draw Mesh Runner, Paper ZD, which is the other uh, plugin used. So this first one consists of two players, one myself, the other one is the computer. I'm the one at the bottom, and so when you see the exclamation point, it, it tells you like when to attack. Whoever attacks first wins. And so let's see, this time I attacked, I won, and then the game restarts and it keeps going. It doesn't add any points whatsoever, it's just this uh, loop that the, the AI attacks. Well, now you saw like the X, meaning that I attacked before, so then I'm not able to attack, then I already lost. I saw the exclamation point and I attacked. The second one. This is the me against the computer AI running against each other. I'm the one at the bottom. You pretty much have to press like uh, the, the arrows keys like simultaneously. Remember like those games from the past that you have to, to keep pressing to run faster and faster. This one I lost because I didn't try harder. And then, yeah, then it starts, then I can go. I can keep going. Uh, this one I will win, but the computer, pretty much uh, what I did for this one in the computer, you have a range of velocity that he can run. Uh, as, as long as you keep like consistency and going like uh, fast, uh, you will win the computer on this one. And as well, it restarts when you finish the race or when you lose the race. Cool, this one. This one was like a little bit more advanced. It's like a platform game, like climbing. But yeah, you have this, uh, the enemy that if he touches you, you die. You can kill him by like jumping on top of his head like this, which is pretty fun. And you have to, of course, it's like the Mario style of games, right? Which is pretty cool. Uh, looking at me playing seems like pretty easy. I had other people, friends playing, they couldn't do, they, they couldn't pass it. Uh, so I thought, okay, maybe this was a little bit hard, but yeah. And this was like a bug, I, I passed, uh, there's no ending door here or something. But uh, yeah, I should have like done a door, uh, I will do it, it later. This is just like a really like simple and quick platform. It's really easy when you got the assets uh, of those assets like pretty like done, so you can like just place them. 
Okay, so this is like the, the viewport of things. Uh, this is the enemy. I'm gonna duplicate it to show you like how it works. There's a, a little system like box uh, that tells that it shouldn't uh, fall when it sees like the the ending of uh, like a like kind of cliff, so it will never fall. This one is pretty cool. This one is more advanced. It's like a 2D game built in a 3D environment. I can kill it. I have this power and he can also kill me. He can like bite me like this. Oh shit. So the 100% life is uh, every every punch, every like sword punch is like 25%. But when I when I throw it after this power up that I got is like 50. So I can kill like in two in two times. And then also the cool thing is that the sword sticks to the wall. So then I can jump on the sword and then jump to other places. That's pretty cool. And this power up will make me like jump like twice in the air. So I can jump a little bit higher. And I'm just killing it higher. Uh, faster. So yeah, I can see like I'm jumping like twice. It's kind of cool. So let's kill this guy right here. Whenever you got a power up, like more enemies appear. So now I'm gonna like jump to the other side. Yeah. And then I just build like a teleport right there. When I touch it, like it will start over again. So then the game restarts. That's pretty much it. I forgot to mention, have you seen this game from Square Enix called Octopath? This course is a great introduction to Unreal. I'm making his second course now, which is like a more complete game. We'll have like UI with the with the live HP. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. If you like it and you want to see it later, please subscribe, give it a like, comment. I would love to, to hear uh, your thoughts on it. If you have like done other 2D games as well, let's connect. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.